Hello, welcome back. It is I, right after the last episode, uh, or right after the last chapter. I wasn't really happy with how short that one was, so we're gonna we're gonna just gonna go right through chapter four. Ryan, my guy, let's. So last time we found two tarot cards. I'm really happy about. Um, right as things are getting intense, when I don't have a lot of time to look for them, but we are going to remember: don't take a zip line. If there is one, do not take it. Um, but yeah, chapter four, Ryan, the quarry, let us go. That is horrible. It was, it, it was, chapter I, four, I, I don't, don't panic. I don't know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? What is that? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Okay. Nick is back. We got him back. <laughs> Nick, hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I don't know, attack. Where's Abby? I'm super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there that... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal. He's gonna what? die. What fucking kind of animal does this? Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's Abby. Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, it claws. Teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Yeah, it was not a bear. This bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad. Infection dude. already? Apply pressure. Die! Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, There's not much we can do to stop the infection. Oh, he's gonna pass out. Yeah! I don't mean die. Just mean live, motherfucker. Nick, we can't let you go. You gotta be one of the only ones who survived. Okay. It's okay. Mm, fuck that. Hat. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? <sighs> Why? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. I can't see what, any black what stuff. What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Oh gosh, another goddamn window dick. I don't know much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Oh shit. Ugh. I'll put two right between your fucking eyes if you don't come out with your hands up. I'll kill you. Who are you? Hey! I got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. That's even scarier. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? But be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Oh, Ryan, come on. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? What is it? Don't shoot! Why were you creeping up on us? Save you. Why were you creeping? Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Yeah, no, in the city, hey, Brenda. Come on. Close? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of 
course they are. Question, what happened to you? I don't care what happened to you. I know what happened to you. Where's Emma? Jacob, where's Emma? Fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? With the dead yeah, body why? in the lake? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. God. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're going to head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with, like, um, he had, like, a bottle. Like, I don't know, dude, it's, like, a really long story. It's not that long of a story. Ew. Yeah, well, it's super fucked up. <laughs> I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? I'll no, shoot I'm trying you. to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. She's not your girlfriend. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. Get. Someone's gonna get shot. Someone's gonna get shot. Not letting go. Not letting go. <clears throat> Brenda has it now. Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian. Sorry. This is bullshit. Nah. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. Oh, gosh. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Do not take the you zip the line. To try to get but out. if it is Ow, Jacob, who I don't up. like, I might take the zip line. So yeah, I have an idea. Wheelbarrow. Oh, gosh. Tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs? She's and vlogging. Is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool. Well, one thumb, one available. Stop. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, Don't there's a do tree it. house over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explorer bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <sighs> I don't like this one bit. To the treehouse and nowhere else. How are their phones still alive? They're like twenty. Oh, An squirrel! Part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I wasn't jump scare. I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling, and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. 
metaphor in the narrative by means of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Yeah. And we are going to take this. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. I hate that saying. Okay, just keep it moving, Emma. Close to the back of the head is bullshit. I hate that. So stupid. Why would you be up here? I don't trust this. But hey, hey, high ground. You know, if Apex has taught me anything, high ground. Uh, is that where we're going? Don't shoot at where you are. Shoot at where you're going. <sighs> this is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're going to blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which... Eh. I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. <sighs> Emma. Annoyed Jacob's problem. I hope Abby's okay right there. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context... Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. What? Okay. Maybe we should kill off Emma. She's kind of goddamn annoying. Well, there's the zip line. We're going to the house. There's probably a Chendigo in there. But you know what? And I can even already look inside of it. I can tell that you're... What? And here we are. As promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down. Oh, I didn't like that violin sound. Together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well, now, that's a fine how do you do. I don't like this at all. How can people be so optimistic in horror stuff? I don't know how. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. That was a weird audio glitch. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. What? Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no. Open trap door. Why? Because we're gonna die anyway, and we don't have any other choices. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Oh! I knew it! I, I knew it! I knew it! Oh, she's dead. She's fucking dead. She's dead. 
I feel like I feel like if we were to search through the bag because she was being really loud that that thing would have just busted through the trap door anyway. But maybe we could have gotten away. Oh, first casualty. Emma. I'm not mad. She was kind of annoying the shit out of me. But still. Oh. <sighs> Dang, dude. Dylan. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no. Sorry, I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to okay, find the horse, he's... but. He's Some talking granola? pretty wild. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> oh, hey, another tarot card. He's talking pretty wild, eating a horse. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll oh, come meet you. Me. Copy that. Optimistic. I hope they're going to be cautious. Do you think it has their, their scent? What's... Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know. Has their scent or something? What? I don't know. Like, it's not it crazy, Ryan. Come on. And now it's going to track them down. I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is going to get into the lodge. Okay. <sighs> Ryan, you're being naive, yeah, you're, my guy. Right. <sighs> Come on. Let's go call for backup. Oh, I'm dropping frames again. Dang it. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Nobody heard anything. Close the door. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Ryan. Hopeful. That's good news. I don't know. Paranoid. Yeah, I'll be paranoid. I don't care. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. Oh, good gracious. Ryan is losing Who should hope. I call? Dang it. Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... What? Anyway, Why are you being a yeah, but dick, like, what, Ryan? What I asked for, like, police, ambulance? Huh. Both? Call the cops. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right oh now. Oh, my gosh. Ryan, you're starting really to piss me backup. off. You're starting to piss me off. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. 
Hey. What's wrong? Dead. Are you sure you didn't hang? Sure you didn't hang up? That's weird. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though. It's a coincidence. Have you tried Ryan. Hang up, thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. You're in a video. Okay. Game. Well, you know. How Hold do you on, know my that? camera decided Maybe that's just to what freeze they want. again. Oh, So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. That's great. I like that for a only temporary. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Ryan, you gotta. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power? What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Exactly. Grab that other gun. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. There is a second gun, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. There was another... Why did you lock that room? What is going on? Does she need it? Hey, give her your gun. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. Man. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> give gun. Just make sure everyone's uh, got... Make sure right. everyone's strapped. You're right. Hey, well... Still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Yo, what? Brenda? Am I interrupted something? What is happening? What is what was that was weird. That was weird. Chin up, big guy. It I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so Emma's generous and dead, handsome. Yo. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. to see you good to see you huh. these are That's like time again is it? really short those 25 minutes strength hmm. strength can be surprising knowing one's own raw power tapping into it tapping into a previously unknown energy I suppose there are forces that work within us all and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Creepy. As always, there's more to see. 
And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Of course. What? What does that mean? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Huh. Yeah, this was... Chapter 5. White noise. Look at his eyes. Look at those eyes. Okay. Anyway, thanks for checking this one out. If you liked what you saw, want to see more, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in Chapter 5. This is going by very, very quickly. I didn't... There's like 20 minutes. And they go in... Each chapter is 20 minutes. So we'll see. We'll see. See you guys in the next one.